Morning everyone. I'm just going to do a quick video on a Mercedes Sprinter uh, 906 EZS or EIS replacement. Uh, we're going to take all the data out of the old one and we're going to put it into a new, uh, sorry, a second hand unit that the customer purchased off eBay. We're using the IM100 for this with the XP400 plugged in. Um, we're going to go into Programmer. We're going to go into Chip. Chip, Read and Write. We're going to go into Immo, because this is part of the Immo system. We're going to go into Benz, Mercedes Benz. And we're going to scroll along to 906. Uh, so we've got the EI, EIZ uh, W906 ST12. So this is the chipset that this particular one is running. We're going to click on that. Uh, we're going to read the EEPROM and we're going to read the flash. And we're going to take both data areas across to the new one. Just in case it's got a different flash set up there than the original one has. So we're going to read the EEPROM first. Uh, we've got the XP400. We've got it wired to the uh, EZS. Um, We've got no voltage going to the XP400. We've just got the uh, USB. Um, we can click on the, the diagram itself. Um, so it gives you quite a clear, uh, colorful, obviously, diagram. Um, you can't really get it wrong. Um, the pads for soldering on this are actually quite uh, good. You know, there's no microscopic pads. You can click on the picture. Uh, and these are the points that you're also soldering to. Um, color the wires, what the pin does, five volts ground, reset, um, everything else. Um, so we've already connected it up. And what we're going to do, we're simply going to read the EEPROM. As you can see, it's read the full data area there. Um, I'm actually not going to save this because we've already saved it. We're going to press cancel. We're now going to go and do the same with the flash. So back in, the diagram is the same because you're already connected. We're going to go and do a read. This one takes a bit longer because it's the flash. Uh, it's a larger memory. Uh, there's a lot more information in there. We can actually read the information using the G-Box 2 on the bench, um, but it only pulls uh, key and mileage information. Um, as this is a postal one, we want to make sure that all the data comes across correctly. Um, that's why we're doing it on the bench. Um, we're not using any outside tools with this. It's purely through the Autel or, or the Oro uh, key series. Even if the EZS is dead, we can always still get a read of it, no matter what. As you can see, it's read the full flash. You would save again and save the data. We've already saved this data, um, so we're not going to save it. We're going to hook up to the, the new unit, and then we're going to copy the data across, and I will show you that. So we've got the used one set up now. Uh, we've read the data off the used one and saved it just as a backup. Um, so purely what we're going to do now, uh, we've gone back into it, we've gone into the EEPROM and we're just going to write. So we're going to write the data that we need to it. So uh, EEPROM here, 4 kilobytes, going to erase the EEPROM and write the new data from the old one. So that's the EEPROM data written. Going to go into the flash and we're going to write the flash, the same again flash data okay it's gonna write the flash into it now once this is written you've got the EEPROM data and the flash data from the old module um, so it's a total clone so the new module is ready to fit send it back to your customer and that's it job done I won't let this finish I will end the video because it takes a bit of time um, but once it's written you're ready to go basically